Ah. Okay, great. I got it set up. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. You ready to play? Absolutely. Awesome. You go first. Oh, no, 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 no. After you. Yeah, After uh, you. Oh, no, age before beauty. Nah, uh, but you're older than me. Oh, that's right. Uh. That's right. I am. <laughs> I am. Okay, fine. I, I, I don't know how to play Jenga. I am so <laughs> glad you said that. I have no idea how to play Jenga. There's, oh. There's got to be an instruction booklet around oh, here somewhere, good. though, right? So we'll learn together. Yeah, yeah, let's go over to my library. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, the Jenga instruction booklet has to be in here somewhere. Uh, see, no. Ah. Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Perfect. Be careful. What? No. Oh. oh. Great. Now we'll never know how to play Jenga. Hello everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So-and-So Show. And today we've got a crazy show. Shh. What was that? I think it's a librarian. Shh. Why is Why is there a librarian in your basement? I don't know. Does this happen often? Ah, oh, first time I can remember. Uh, anyway, like, like we said, this is the So-and-So Show. And today we've got a very quiet show planned for you, I guess. Oh, wait, today's the day we were supposed to play the game Loud and Zany Noise Machine. It's time to play Loud and Zany Noise. Sorry. Well, we can't play that now, can we? What are we gonna do? Maybe we can play the same game, but without making any noise. All right, then it's time to play um, uh, Quest uh, for Quiet. Quest for Quiet! <laughs> My bad. Hello, I'm Marion the Librarian. For this game, Brandon and John will compete in challenges. Whoever makes the least amount of sound, as measured by this decibel meter, is the winner. Our first game is called Firemouth. Okay, so for this round, all we have to do is eat a jalapeno pepper without making noise. That should be easy, right? Come on, the game hasn't started yet, has it? It has. Oh, sorry. Water! Water! This round is called the chicken or the egg. Brandon and John must do the chicken dance while covered in egg shakers. And a one, and a two, and a one. messed up. And now, hop on pops. They must walk across bubble wrap while wearing bubble wrap. Fewer pops wins. Mm. 
This will answer the age-old question, which makes more noise, a candy wrapper or a bag of chips? This round is called the rap battle. John wins. What? I win. I win. Yes, I did it. Right. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. How's it going? Uh, we just got finished playing a quiet game. Yeah, and we messed up a lot. Why so quiet? Because, no reason, I guess. What are we doing today, Kellen? Well, we're talking about the first two people who ever lived. Their names were Adam and Eve. In the beginning, God put Adam and Eve in charge of the Garden of Eden. It was paradise. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, let's stay forever. God gave Adam and Eve one rule. God said, you may eat fruit from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. If you do, you will certainly die. Huh. Well, that's the fruit we're not supposed to eat, right? This is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Let's not eat it then. Deal. Seems pretty simple, doesn't it? Living in paradise, only one rule. What could possibly go wrong? Well, there was someone else living in the garden, a serpent. Yes. <gasps> now, the serpent was one of the most clever animals God created. Did God really say you can't eat the fruit from this tree? He did. If we even touch it, we'll die. Oh, certainly not. If you eat this fruit, You'll be able to tell the difference between good and evil, like God. Really? Well, it does look tasty. Even though it was against God's rule, Eve grabbed the fruit. Okay, here goes. Mmm. Adam! Huh? Try this fruit. Okay. Yes. My work here is done. <laughs> After they had eaten the fruit, something changed. Oh, I don't feel so good. We messed up, didn't we? <gasps> Why aren't you wearing any clothes? Why aren't you? Oh. When they heard God coming, they tried to hide because they were so ashamed. Huh. Okay, we gotta hide. Hide, 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 hide. Yeah, right Back here, no, stop over no, here. I'll, I'll no, no, right. no, 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 I'll go back here, shh, oh. okay, shh, be quiet, be quiet, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. God knew they had broken the rule, but God asked them if they'd eaten from the tree anyway. Okay, uh, uh, it wasn't my fault, the woman you made gave it to me. <laughs> It wasn't my fault. The serpent tricked me. But it was too late. The rule was already broken. Oh, man. Come on. Adam and Eve were kicked out of paradise, and they would eventually die. But worst of all, the close relationship they had with God was broken. Wow. Who knew breaking one rule could hurt so much? It's true. Breaking rules has consequences. Adam and Eve really messed up. But the truth is, everyone messes up sometimes. We break rules. We let people down. We open candy wrappers too loudly. Sure. But the good news is that even when we mess up, God still loves us. We know that to be true because God sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. So what happened to Adam and Eve may be sad, but it wasn't the end of the story. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks, Kellen. 
Shh. Oh, back on duty, I see. I'll see you guys next. Shh. Next time. Bye. Boy, she's really not going to like this part. But it's got to be done. Reveal the question. <laughs> Who has loved you even when you've messed up? Yeah, that's a good one because I mess up a lot. Yeah, same here. Uh, my my friends, my parents, you love me. Well, you do the same for me. I mean, like that time I accidentally spilled spaghetti sauce on your laptop. That was you. Uh, you love me. Yeah. Talk about it together. Who has loved you even when you've messed up? And we'll see you next time on the so-and-so. Shh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>